We talk about Honeymoon Suites' first album and that first hit, New Girl Now, with the guy who wrote it, Honeymoon Suites' Gary Graham. First, we should tell you they've just had their first hit in 19 years. A top 30 hit with the title song of their upcoming album. It's called Find What You're Looking For. It's also their first album since 2008. Their first single, New Girl Now, hit number seven on the rock charts in the U.S. We wanted to hear the story behind that iconic hit, which also was a very big hit in Canada. Here's Gary Graham. That first album, man, you're like... You're like the master. You're like doing it all. You're writing. You are such a big influence. Of course, in the band throughout the history, and I know you're, how much you've written, uh, but New Girl Now, uh, speaking of stalking, uh, was that based on anything? Uh, no. Uh, no, not really. Not when I wrote it. It just kind of came to me. But I had uh, just got out of a, a relationship and moved, and moved away to college. So, yeah, it was, there was, there was, it was based, in fact, to some degree. And and the video that okay that main girl that stalking Johnny did you guys know her or is that just an actress? No, that was an actress hired for the video. That uh, yeah, yeah no she was an actress. Well, you know Randy Backman a couple of years ago he came into the studio here in Calgary and he said you know uh, Lenny Bro had told him he talked you know he talks about Lenny a lot. He said that he said you know you you will never be the greatest guitarist. There'll always be another guy better, but you got to write songs. At what point did you realize, considering how how uh, top heavy you are with writing for this band, when did you realize it, or did you just write because you had you had the songs? I've always wanted to be a songwriter. Uh, I love playing guitar, and through guitar, I could write songs. Ever since I started playing, when I wrote my first song, I was just uh, you know so excited about that. And I, uh, I don't know. I just always wanted to write songs as good as the ones that the people that I loved, you know, made. I, I, it's like I want to do that, too. So it was just a passion from early on. And to me, in this business, the more uh, boxes you can check, yeah. if you're, you know, there's a million amazing guitar players out there that can play circles around me. But to play guitar was not enough. You, you've got to, to me, and I tell my daughter this, be a songwriter. Because there's your longevity, you know. You uh, you may not be an artist forever, but you can be a writer. And there's, you know, with publishing, that can be your your retirement fund there if you get a couple of big hits. Um, be a producer. Be a business person, especially these days. Check all the boxes. And you, these days, a musician's got to be a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Well, why was it on the first album that you were so, were you just the guy who was writing so much? Were, I mean, how, how did the songs get we're going to pick Derry's song. How did that happen? Well, I was the only one really that had them. Um, Johnny had written songs before with the, with another band he was with and some early Honeymoon Suite stuff, but they weren't as as strong or, you know, as what Honeymoon Suite w was doing. They were more of a, just a rock and roll type song, and I think mine probably had a little more, um, you know, were better with the choruses or more, a little more radio ready. Mm -hmm. So... I just, by the time I joined Honeymoon Suite, I just, uh, I had New Girl Now and a couple others. And then we got our record deal and it's like, okay, Derek, can you, write, can you go write five or six more? We're doing an album. So I pulled it together really fast and we wrote, I was writing on the road um, right before the deal because we were doing a lot of six-nighters. Yeah. And so sitting around shitty hotel rooms up in Sudbury for a week, you know, during the day, I would spend my days just the guitar and just writing songs. Who dis did the, the sequencing off, off that first album? Was it the band or was it the producer? Good question. Probably Tom Tremuth yeah. with, with us and maybe the label throwing their two cents in. But I think it was obvious that we would open with New Girl now. Yeah. Um, sequencing is always hard. It's always a bit of bickering and, and to do the right thing. It's like naming the album. I don't know. We probably all just put the songs out there and, and put down. You put the so strongest ones, I think, at the front. Yeah. And then you bury your album tracks at the side two when there used to be a side two. Yeah. Um, and that's what happened. I, I don't think there's a bad track off, off that debut album. We used to say that on the Cross Canada Report when we were syndicating our show. Yeah. There's something great about every track. I mean, there's just such an energy yeah. and an excitement there in a young band finding their roots. And we recorded it really fast. So it has that vibe to it, and I, I love every song in that record. The new track, Find What You're Looking For, good title for this time of what we're going through right now. Tell me about that one. 
Yeah, isn't that right? Isn't that funny that it kind of fits in? Um, that's a song that I, I probably wrote mm, at least a couple of years ago. And it started out to be a different song called It Could Be Right. And when we were working on it with this new album, Johnny and I, we've got this producer named Mike Crumpus who we're doing the record with. And he's a great producer. He's an amazing writer and he plays guitar and he plays drums. This guy's like one-stop shopping, I'm telling you, in the studio. He does everything. So he's really talented like that. But Johnny and I, I would bring my songs in and, and Johnny would come in with his. And it's nice having a producer because he's that, he's that uh, objective you know, ear. He's not as, uh, as emotionally attached to the songs as you are. So he can hear, you know, why don't you do this and why don't you do that? Look, why don't we try this for a chorus? So in the case of Find What You're Looking For, that's exactly what happened. We had this killer verse. We had the chorus, which wasn't sitting right with him. It was kind of a dated sounding chorus. And he actually came up a lot with the, the music and the feel for that chorus now that you hear is kind of like in half time and then I threw this this big you know melody over top of it because it really suited it so it's the three of us working together so in a nutshell that's what happened there remember there'll be links to honeymoon suite in the description of this video more conversation with Derry Graham coming up next week make sure you comment on our video subscribe to our channel and share our videos and buy a t-shirt help support our channel check it out in the description of this video I'm John Bowden mm -hmm.